What's going on YouTube? Welcome back for another video. Today we're talking about how to officially get signed up for a game of Hyborian War. So let's jump right into it. Let's go. Alright, welcome back. Like I said, today we're going to talk about how to actually get signed up for a game. It's pretty easy steps uh to do there's there's really um really like I, like you can see here four steps to actually get signed up for a game um so step number one is call up reality simulations um and create an account look at that i don't know how to spell either create an account uh so all you gotta do is i'll leave a phone number or um, a link to their phone number in the description uh, underneath this video. Uh, Reality Simulations is uh, the company that runs the game. They're the ones that you mail your turns to every turn after you, you finish them and fill them out. Um, and, and you need to create an account with them. After you create an account with them, they'll actually send you in the mail uh, the initial rule book and a map. Uh, of Hyborian Age so that you can uh, you can get started okay after you do all of that and you create your account your next step you're gonna want to do is sign up on the Road of Kings forums page uh, this is where <clears throat> this is the Road of Kings I'll, I'll, like, I'll leave all of all of this in the description uh, below so on the the Road of Kings forums page this is where you could find all sorts of information. This is where you can find upcoming games. This is where you could find current games that are going on. You can find organized games that are that are going on. Um, any question you could possibly think of has been asked and is somewhere on the on the forums page here. Um, on top of that, a lot of people. Uh, if we scroll down real quick, I'm currently playing in a regular game of Hyborian War 972, which is the game that I am currently in. So if you take a peek at here, people, uh, someone created a, a forum uh, for this game and everyone has come in and these are all the different players who have revealed themselves. Uh, so you can, you know, shoot private messages to them or um, discuss uh, discuss different, different things going on in, in, in this specific game. And there's usually a channel for, as you can see, just about every single high warring war game that is going on right now. All right. So you definitely want to get signed up for this forum page. Um, read through certain, uh, certain things like, um, let's see here if I can find one gameplay discussions and like gameplay questions and all that kind of stuff will be in here. All right, so that's step two, get signed up for this forum page. Step three, visit Grimfinger's website. All right, Grimfinger, um, his website, where is it here? I think I have it pulled up. This goes in depth about all of the, remember this is a 36 player game. That's a lot of people. So on the left here has all the 36 different nations and a quick description of their country. All right. So if you wanted to, to find, you wanted to play a country that was heavy, I don't know, let's like heavy, heavy cavalry or something like that. Like maybe you'd want to play Turin. Turin has uh has a lot of cavalry, but you can kind of read up um, a little, just a little brief explanation about the, the different kingdoms uh, on the left here. Um, on top of that, there's some great resources here of other websites that have super in-depth information that you might need later on in the game. Um, we've got all of the kingdom setups uh, for each country here as well. So um, if I wanted, like, if I'm going to use Turin as an example again, um, I could click on Turin, and this is uh, the starting the starting information about Turin. So every single game, um, the countries start exactly the same. They do change throughout the game, but to start, everything is exactly the same. So you could come in here, and uh, you have a digital copy uh, of all of this. So what I would do was I would 
come here and I'm gonna read up on a, a specific country that I might want to to try read up the little information about them come over here read up their initial kingdom report see if it's something that you, you think you would enjoy to play enjoy playing all right um, the right hand side over here these are Hyborian War Kingdom Spotlights. What what that is, it's, it's usually a player who um, has won with that country. Um, so we'll just pick the first one here, Amazonia by Bytor of the Snow Dogs. If we click on that, it's actually going to bring us back to the Road of Kings forum page. And on here is going to be um, a whole spotlight of, hey, Lots of people have played this this country before. Would this is what we suggest or you should do during the game? Hey, this has worked really well last time for us. Hey, we've tried to do this last time and it was terrible. That's what this this whole it's a whole forum page specifically about just that country that you can get a little more information about. Um, so this I, I'm currently playing Quran in my game I went straight to the Quran page here um, and read this whole the whole strategy and everything to, to try to tr to maximize um, how my game went other than that there's this kind of information on here will be very useful once you actually get into a game not really useful to off the the start of the game over here a bunch of specific links to uh you know hyborian war winners list uh some artwork made for hyborian war like just just fun stuff like that um so that is that is grimfinger's website like i said would 100 percent recommend getting into this a little bit before you get started kind of learn a little bit about the lore uh, of the game um, obviously you can read the the command books and and things like that rewatch the movies the old movies and, and everything to learn a little bit about the lore as well but definitely take a peek at this website the next step i said was to sign up for a game um and the way you're going to do that is you're going to reach out to reality simulations and tell them you want to sign up for a game. Now, I asked a couple of the veteran players who have been around for a long time um, any recommendations that they could give for new players when signing up. And one of the big ones that got brought up was, hey, you should probably sign up for an organized game or stand or, or, or be ready to join like a game in progress so what what can happen in hyborian war let's say i'm playing a country and everyone around me decides to gang up on me and they're attacking me every turn and i can't i can't do anything you have the ability to drop out of the game you know so you drop out of the game you, you stop getting your turn but that country mid game becomes available to play so there is the ability that you, who's never played before, can join if you want to sign up or play as a standby. You could pick up one of those countries and play mid-game. So it's very important. So you won't start off uh, with your initial startup sheet and all that kind of stuff. You literally could start up in the middle of the game obviously you have to ask to do that you know that won't happen accidentally um but that could be a very good way for you to get into a game relatively quickly as well as throw you right into the fire and and learn about the game and, and that could be very beneficial for you so one way like i said you could you could sign up as a standby player and that's something you would just tell reality simulations when you give them a call or the other thing if we go back to the road of kings they have um regular games slow games but they also have these things called organized games organized games are kind of set up by the community run instead of the regular games which is set up by the company organized games happen a lot more often than the regular games or the slow games 
um, just because the company doesn't run a million games at once. It's not the most popular game ever. Um, it would be cool if there was just new, new signups all the time, but one Hyborian War game could last over a year playing. And that, that's a lot of... Uh, a lot of work to keep all of that kind of stuff running so another great option is that organized games they i believe they're actually starting organized game number 14 right now i believe people are starting to sign up for that um here like right now if actually if i look at this oh this might not be this is a this is one that's already going i believe but yeah so so you get the idea um there's organized games in here that are that are getting signed up for right now too um those would be my recommendations to sign up for a game after you get signed up then you get to have start having fun and uh get to fill out your turn and all that kind of stuff and i'll make sure i definitely have videos going forward about how to fill out your starting turn how to write out your orders and things like that because it is a little a little bit complicated to start especially if you've never seen or heard of some of the terms or phrases before because i know i am very lucky that my uh, my father has played this game before and he's taught me all of the the information that i'm going to try to teach you Last but not least, I just want to remind everybody about my Discord that I've created for uh, the community or your community, however you want to work it. When you join, you'll get hit with this message. Welcome to Always Community Server. Check out the rules and verification section to get permissions. Uh, you just jump down to this section. You click this little green check mark. It unlocks the entire server for you. Uh, as you can see, we've got lots of people in this discord we've got we play all sorts of games we play tarkov we play world of tanks we play DD, counter strike league of legends all of that kind of fun stuff we would love for you to join in give yourself some permissions hang out with us and have some fun until next time peace out